Hello, I'm Sergi, and today I'm visiting the Monsters Lab. And uh, today we will make the game of chess. First of all, uh, I already made before the lesson uh, this thing, but there it is. Uh, the first figure in the king and the dictionary. First, we will make the function to show us the board. Uh, that, and that's all. And then let's print the ball. Uh, uh, we see our king. But first of all, we'll make the the position. Then, if i equals 1, that means that there is a black pawn, a black pawn uh, is uh, 11, uh, 11, and if i equals 6, that means that it's a white pawn, that means just six. Then, and, and uh, one second, J. Equals zero. That means that there is a white hook. Only not white hook. Uh, but Three. And if I plus seven and J in one six, and that means that there must be a knight in there. White knight. Five. Uh, if J in 2 5, uh, that means that there is a bishop in there. Oh no. That there is a bishop, white bishop. 4. And if I equals 7 and J. Uh, uh, J equals 3 then there is a king and uh, it is uh, it's 4 and that means uh, that there is a queen. Let's see. Great. The fittest is all perfectly. But we didn't uh, uh, feel this line yet. And so. Uh, we're starting. Can it I equals. Or the one. Not, not as. Uh, why one is a second. Uh, ah, no. 
we have a zero because it's a first line. Uh, the uh, the line one is a line of pawns. Here will be in in uh, zero seven it will be the black rook nine. If uh it's uh, one six, that means that there is a knight. Let's see where is the black knight. Eleven. And if I, and if J is in two five, that means that there must be a bishop. Where is the white bishop? Oh, black bishop. Ten. Eli. And J equals three. That means that there is a seven. And in four, there is a queen. So we have done all the positions. Uh, but uh, we are already already have that. And that is a first lesson. Uh, I hope you will, uh, this was a very interesting lesson. Uh, it was surgery and wait for the next videos.